Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, aka Hollywood J. Black. I'm in the building once again. Back with another Sinful Black Reacts. I got my man's, my main man, Big MF and Citizen in the building. How you doing today, sir? Man, I am doing good. Um, a couple weeks ago, we reacted to a video called Insane with Lexa Hexmaster, Boondocks, Blaze Your Dead, Homie, and JB Madrox. After that reaction dropped, I want to give a shout out because I was sitting in the ER that night. Um, the homeboy Lex here, he shouted us out. He actually looked us up on Instagram and hollered at Hollywood. Yeah, which I, listen, that was probably, it's only the second time that I've ever been hit up by an artist. Uh, but it was a thing to see because I've never met Lex the X Master before. Mm -hmm. Like I've met a couple of artists that, that we've done reactions for. I've never met Lex, and to have him shout us out and praise us, you know, it, you know, he appreciated it, and you know, I, I, me and him shared a bunch of love uh, <clears throat> through, through, you know, on Messenger, you know, I, and I still stand by exactly what I said, that he is the most ready-made, uh, like he's a superstar in the making uh, for Magic Ninja, like he's yep. the guy that I would, I understand that they have their Boondocks and everybody else, and I'm fine with that. I love Boondocks. Love Blaze, you know what I'm saying? And I just think that Lex is the person that oozes that charisma and the type of person that you want in front as a label, especially if you're serious about coming out with hip hop on your on your record label. Mm -hmm. um, so he threw me a few videos, not and I listened to them, love them, and we're gonna react to a few of them over the for, over the uh, the few weeks or so. I really saw this video. So this, for Big Sin, this is going to be literally a reaction for you, yeah. mainly, because I wanted you to see this. I said, I saw this, and I said, dude, this is a fucking, I, this, you want to find out about Lex and where he's at in his head? Um, and he's as hungry, he was as hungry now as he is then. You're going to find out where the hunger comes from. So I'm excited for you to watch this video. I'm like, yeah, I want you to, yeah, buddy, this is going to get real, real good. So you ready? Yes, sir. All right. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lex the Hexmaster with Broken right here on Sinful Black. Uh, uh, where are you at? There we go. Let me go back to the beginning. There we go. We got a little behind the curtains. Yeah, a little some some. So this sets the tone for what the video is going to be. You see, he just wasn't feeling it, you know? Yeah. Underrated by haters and I'm just trying to fly 
Wonder why they hate to see a young thug Cause rise. I'm mad and I'm about to snap Start fast when all these cats talking trash But scared to rap with a master of wicked tracks Now I'm laughing and counting stacks While you constantly on my sack Cause all I'm stating is facts A fucking problem won't wax his masters I ain't feeling too right in my head tonight Somebody gonna end up dead tonight Maybe if you listen to the songs I sing You know why I scream fucks every day I ain't feeling too right in my head Okay, all right, all right. So, first verse in the books. What you think, sir? So he's he's opening the door here, okay, for us. He's um letting us know that people just hate this motherfucker for no reason when he came out. Yeah. yeah. Probably because, you know, young African American got his face paint, face painted up like a clown. We all know what Tech Nine went through when he did that shit too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's another issue of people judging people before they actually sit back and take a listen to what they actually spit. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and, and it, it's kind of like the whole Eminem situation that we just talked about up on the, uh, yesterday's episode, where like it felt like the outward appearance kind of prejudges people mm-hmm. for you know what, to what they think they are because it breaks their stereotype of people right and so they yeah. don't know how to react and the only way they know how to react is negatively i yeah. I, I just like i felt the pain in this in song the one thing i appreciated is it felt like a song you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah and, and this is probably early earlier in his career you know what i'm saying he's been out for a while but this is still three years ago right mm-hmm. but this felt like a song this, and i tell people that a lot of times sometimes when a lot of independent artists come out with something they just do a bunch of spitting, and then maybe a chorus. We know how many times we've gotten on Dax, right? About, about yeah. this chorus. Yep. Yep. This felt like a whole ass fucking song, you know. Yeah, he's he's got he's he's really got a story to tell, and he's willing to tell it. That's what I'm getting from this. That's the most beautiful part. You gotta love shit like that. Some you know, when it, sometimes people sometimes play it too close to the chest. I'm yep. the type of person that says, like, let your heart out on this. When it's independent, you don't have nothing to lose. Let's go, you know. Yep. All right, yep. Let's keep this thing going. Fake motherfuckers acting like they know me We ain't friends, we ain't boys, and we not homies Late nights in the streets, walking on my dolly Lost soul on this path, won't somebody show me? Yesterday to today, things just ain't the same Woke up and everybody know my fucking name Street nigga slingshot into the light of fame Y'all just wanna hear the music, I don't feel my now pain I'm going out of my mind and my mind is out of control Put passion in every line and I'm dragging it from my soul Two fuckers don't wanna hear it, you'd rather listen to trash From rappers who give me death cause they scared I'ma whip they fucking ass Never let them see you cry, never let them see you hurt Even when you dead inside, find a way to make it work Living on the outside, push it so you in the dirt Never let them see you die, never let them see you die Never let them see you cry, never let them see you hurt all right all right so second verse all right so okay so much like us i have extreme walls built because of shit that's happened in my life yep yep and that's what i'm hearing from this man right now that he's don't let them see inside because they're just going to use that shit against you yeah yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like you said, he's like, rappers dap me because they're afraid I'm going to whoop their ass. Yeah. He said, you know? he, said, he, said, he, said, he said, especially rappers. Because <laughs> listen, listen, this, I, be, me managing a few artists back in 06, before you know, me and you linked back up again, I was managing uh, Treble. And I was managing uh, uh, my boy uh, Marcel and them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the one thing that when you bring people in on the outside, uh, outside of your little your crew, that you know that you've built this bomb with, like people get to talking shit, cause you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. But they'll sit here and smile in your face, dap you up, you know what I'm saying, hey, you square, you know what I'm saying, like that, and then just sit here like and treat you like shit. And I think that it's fucking bullshit, you know. Yeah. Um, but listen, uh, he, he's he's telling the truth, telling it like and it real, is. And, and real talk, let's call a spade a spade. Let's call you actually movie. had that happen to you, and one of your supposed best boys at the time, yeah, literally left you to die. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah. 
my sentence when your mind is all demented Repent inside of the question, I'm living beyond redemption This fitting gets me attention, I'm begging for intervention While speeding straight to my grave and I hope you fuckers is listening Probably missing the point that I'm dishing I'm on a mission to traumatize your ears, alter your fucking vision Then bring you in this world that I live in, I hope you see Real life, no gimmicks, you fuckers can't be me so that you see that last visual that last visual of that video was really, really, really important because you've seen the human Lex sitting mm -hmm. on the side of his bed struggling with the shit because that's the person that was spitting right before the the, the chorus. And then yeah. Lex, the hex master, the, the rapper, you know what I'm saying? The persona that you see was basically just in his ear in the background Tell him Manipula him, manipulating his mind. Yeah, manipulating his mind, telling him what he needs to do in order to protect himself from the yeah. hatred that's on the outside. That is a very important visual, and I hope people caught that when they watched this video. That that See, is. I also I also hope they pay attention to that last verse. It was very short, mm -hmm. but it was bar heavy and very meaningful. And that that's the dude has bars for days. Dude doesn't feel like a manufactured rapper. Dude, no, he's not, he's not like Kevin Gates, no. you know, coming out of a factory. Exactly. Like, he doesn't feel like P. Diddy or, or Jay-Z is trying to push, them, or push this man on us. He literally feels like a homegrown rapper. And that's kind of where it's like, you, you feel his pain, you feel where he's coming from. And the fact that still three years later, because we just heard, we, it was a couple weeks ago, we just did the... the insane. Left, yep. in, insane. He's as hungry now as he is then. Yeah, he, um, this, this, and like I said, this was a message. This song was a message. Yeah. It was a message to don't let people detract you from what you, what you know you can do. Yeah. yeah. Do you fuck other people? Other people are going to bring you down they because they're be. unhappy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fuck mm -hmm. them. Fuck them. No, for real. For real. I 100% fucking agree with it. Listen. Um, you know me. I keep shit 100 all day long as far as when it comes to this music shit. And I feel that this th this is a replay because I got to find the best way to put this because sometimes I don't find the right words to say. But this is a replay because it is a message that not only carries on in hip-hop but also carries on in life because mm -hmm. you're going to find people that that are broken as, uh, you know, no pun intended. But they're broken because they're not understood by the people that are around them. You know, you, yourself, <laughs> myself. Listen, but but you know, it's crazy because me be, and you are broken individuals that people don't relate to half the time. But me and you get along so fucking well. You know. No. Okay. Saying? So the way the way I often with our friendship is we're we're broken in certain ways. But the ways were broken, just seeing the men with each other. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. And that's how our friendship has lasted over <laughs> over thirty years. Well, almost thirty years, man. Listen. All right. Well, this one's a replay for me. Matter of fact, oh, yeah. I, I'm I am I am the type of person I will tell you like it is. If you have iTunes, Spotify, uh, any spot that you can buy the music, buy Lex the Hexmaster shit. Matter of fact. If 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 you want to j go directly to Magic Ninja, buy the shit. I'm pretty sure they got vinyls there. Something buy directly. Support your artists. Let them know that you love them. Make sure because they, you know there's no COVID. I mean the COVID ain't no shows. You know shit like that. The only way they're getting paid is to make sure you watch the YouTube video or they're selling yeah. records. Support this man. Let this man know that that he is the next best thing, like I feel that he's the next best thing in hip-hop. 
support this man, buy his shit, do whatever you need to do. And I'm not a fanboy. I'm not paid by Magic Ninja. I've already had my comments about Twisted and how I feel about them. Um, You know what I'm saying? I will support artists, though. I will support good music. I will support Boondocks. I will support Blaze. I will support Alex the Hexmaster. Hell, if Twisted drops a hot album, I don't give a fuck about how I personally feel about him. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop a. Uh, I'm gonna I'm a buy the album because I appreciate them coming out with good music. Music yes, is sir. my life. You know. What and I'm so what I'm seeing now with Magic Ninja is, and I appreciate this, they are putting other artists in the light, and I appreciate that. Like with Insane. Jamie Madrox didn't spit on that shit. He sang the chorus. Mm-hmm. He let Lex eat, Boondocks ate, Blaze ate, and then Lex ate again. Yeah. And that's, you the, know what I'm and that's what I'm saying. That's why I said that, like, I, I feel and I understand that Boondocks has that uh, has that uh, that name. Blaze mm-hmm. has that name. I'm fine with that. I'm good with that. But if Magic Ninja Entertainment wants to be seriously taken as a music and a hip-hop label, this is their opportunity to ride with Lex the Hexmaster. He has his past portfolio. You know what I'm saying? He has a lot of new shit. Just let it go. Let him fucking spit. Let this man put him at the forefront. Let it do his thing. All right. Big Sin. We already know this is a replay for both of us. Before we bounce up out of here, what the deal is, son? Let us know what's popping. All right. So you're for, if you over on the YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and if you over on Facebook... Please like and follow. Let us know what you want to hear us react to. Yes, we got you. And and let's call, let's you know just get out of the open there. We don't dislike artists. We love music. Yeah, you no, know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is. Yeah, we love music. No, we love music, and I'll listen to it. You tell me some shit they've never seen before or hear before. I will listen to it, and then yeah. I'll give you my honest opinion about that track. Yeah. But listen, it it takes balls to be in this music industry to be yep. at the forefront and the limelight of everything it takes a serious amount of balls or or serious set of ovaries if you're a lady or a serious set of of, of top balls up here you know what i'm saying to want to do this shit for a living aka you know? them titties <laughs> them titties all right so until next time ladies and gentlemen that's my man big sin i'm your boy hollywood j black this is sinful black reacts And we out this thing. Deuces.